In this lesson, we're going to look into solving exponential and logarithmic equations. So we've seen that on our calculator, we have base 10 and base e logarithms. So on your calculator, you'll have log, and that's base 10, and then you'll have ln, and that is base e. But what happens when we have a different base? Well, for any logarithm with bases a and b and some numbers m, positive number m that is, if we have a logarithm of a base that we're not familiar with, we can change it into a new base using this formula. Notice the, the log of the m goes on up top of this fraction and the log of b goes down here and we change it to a different base that we're more familiar with. Now, what does that mean for us? Well, what that means is that if we have some log of a base that we're, don't, we're not familiar with or we can't use, then we can change it to a common log like this, the log of m, the number inside, over the log of b. These are common logs, and your calculator can handle this. Or we can uh, use uh, a natural log of m over b, okay? So in other words, um, here we have a log. Now, if you think about this, this the question here is, what is the exponent you put on 5 to get 125? Well, the exponent you put on 5 to get 125 is 3. This thing should come out to be 3. But we're going to use that change of base formula to find the value of these logarithms, okay? So log base 5 of 125. Well, we can approximate that by going log, common log that is, of 125 over the log of 5. So using Desmos here, we can say log, which is under functions miscellaneous, the log of 125, 25 that is, and then close that, divided by the log of 5, and that is 3. That's what we expected. Again, if we wanted to use natural log of 125, which natural log is more going to be used more often, okay, notice it's the same thing, all right? So, uh, again, the change base formula just says we take the log of the, this is called the argument, over the log of the base, and that's going to give us our answer, okay? Again, this is called the change of base formula, okay? So now, let's come on over here and try this one. Log base 4 of 2, well, this is the natural log of 2 over the natural log of 4. That's just a cursive ln there is what that is. All right, so let's go try that out. We've got the natural log under miscellaneous natural log of 2, close that parenthesis, divided by the natural log of 4. Okay, and whoops, type the right number in there, 4, and that is 0. 0.5, all right, which is what we expect, 0. 0.5 or a half, because 4 to the 1 half power, 1 half power means square root, the square root of 4 is 2, okay, and one more if we have log base 5 of 0.2, well, that's the same as the natural log of 0.2 all over the natural log of 5. And we can try that out. Natural log of 2. Two divided by, and that gives us a negative one power. So, uh, oops, did I do it wrong? I did it wrong. So we got 0. 0.2 over five, and we still get negative one. All right, so this is negative one. Okay. And one more here. How about the log base 32 of 33? So those ones are all nice, neat numbers that we probably could have come up with uh, just working it out with what we know about logarithms. But what if we have something that's a little stranger? That's a word. I don't know. Like this. Okay. So log base 
32 of 33, we're going to change this into the natural log of 33 over the natural log of 32. Okay, so we're going to go natural log of 33 divided by the natural log of 32. And we get 1.0088 or 1.009 would be good enough. All right. Which makes sense because to make 32, the power on 32 to make it 33, it needs to be a little bit bigger than 1 because 32 to the first power is 32. Okay, so that's how the change of base works, okay? So we've seen these properties, okay? We're going to use them a little bit here. So these will show up. We've seen uh, if we have log base B of 1 is 0. So what does that mean for common log? The log of 1, that's base 10, is going to be 0. Or the natural log of 1 is going to be 0. Okay? We saw this property that log base B of B is 1. So what that means is the log base 10, which we don't usually write the 10 there for a common log, is 1. Or the natural log of E, because the invisible base there is E, is 1. We also saw that log base B of B to the X is just X, because X is the power you put on B here, right? X is the exponent. So in other words, if we have log of 10 to the X, well, that's just X. Or if we have the natural log of E to the X, that's just X. Okay. And here again, these cancel each other out. B to the log base B of X. So if these two bases are the same, then they cancel and we're left with X. So if we have 10 to the log of X, they're both base 10 there. The, the log is base 10 and the power is base 10. So they cancel each other out. Or if we have E to the natural log of X, those cancel each other out and give us X. All right, so some things that'll show up a little bit here as we go through these, okay? That, those are the properties of, of common logs and uh, natural logs.